So for those viewing this meeting via Orca, you can participate in the design review committee meeting via the Zoom platform through either video and telephone access options. If anyone has problems accessing the meeting tonight, please email me at mmiller at montpelier-bt.org and I will try to work out uh, to get that issue addressed. For those attending via Zoom, please make sure that your Zoom name includes both your first and last name so we know who is speaking and to assist the recording secretary. Also, turning on your video is optional. For everyone attending, please keep your microphone on mute when you are not speaking to reduce background noise and that for phone, it is star six to mute or unmute. The Zoom chat function should only be used for troubleshooting or logistical questions. If you have any question or comment about an item on the agenda, please raise your hand either physically or by using the raise hand button on your toolbar. For those on the phone, you can press star nine to do so or state your name if you are unmuted and wait to speak until the chair has recognized you. Once the chair has recognized someone to participate, please keep uh, please make sure to provide your full name and address for the record. Uh, continuing the meeting if necessary. In the event the public is unable to access this meeting, it will be continued to a time and place certain. And I'll now hand it back over to the chair. At this point, if no one has anything to add, do I hear a motion to approve the agenda? So moved. I'll second it. All in favor of the agenda, speak your names. Ben. Steve. Martha. Agenda is approved. Before we ask for the applicant, do you have the criteria sheets? Great. Thank you. We can go to the first application for 144 Elm Street Resurrection Baptist Church. Applicant Pete Taraski. Are they on? Line, uh, they're online. Yes, is okay. There a way to make them appear up there. There you go. Can you hear me now? Yes, okay. Yes, we're here. Go ahead and describe your sign for us. It, uh, do you guys have a copy of this? Yes, okay. So we're looking at replacing the old sign. It has uh, basically a outline of the steeple with the name of the church and uh. That's what we're looking at wanting to go with. Uh, we have two size options. One was 40 by 44. The other was 40 by 36. We noticed some of the other signs in the area were smaller. So we kind of threw in a second option. What is the size of the sign that's existing now? The sign that's out there right now is 50 inches by 38. So it's much bigger than what we have here. So you're actually going getting to be smaller. Is what you're yes. Mm -hmm. And we were also waiting until we actually had the sign in hand to see if we would go back with two posts or just one post and an arm. Are you anticipating the same location? Yes. If you do, if you did one post with an arm, there probably would need to be some reinforcement for the arm, depending on the weight of the sign. Yes. Yes, that's why I was waiting to get the sign on hand. That would be my option to go with one post and an arm and maybe do a, a corner bracket or maybe even a small cable to hold the weight of the arm. Is one post your preference? Is that what you're... I think it would look cleaner. If we can do that, I think it would look better. So you would use the same size post that's there now, or would you... Yes. Use a heavier post. I would 
probably use the same size that's there now. Again, if you did that with a single arm, you probably would want a some kind of a a steel angle or brace to hold to support the horizontal arm. Yes, I was thinking of a, maybe a decorative uh, angle iron for the corner to help support it. Okay. Do you have a preference for the option one or option two? We were looking at option one. The white looked a lot better than the uh, powder blue. It seems much more readable. Yes, it is. I noticed the sign you have now as a perimeter. Yes. Pin stripe around it. Which yes. outlines the sign very nicely. We could give you the option of adding a pinstripe around either option one or two, if you like. Uh, it it just dresses that out nicely. But again, that's that would be your option. Yeah. And that was something we thought about. We actually held back a couple of inches on the edge of the sign, thinking that we may want to do that. Okay. Then that, that could be an option available to you. Does anyone have any comments, questions, suggestions? Okay. I can go down through. Do you have an actual color chip for the, the blue, the dark blue? Um, no, it would be the colors that are right there print it it looks like it matches the colors the the slash underneath under option one the slash underneath the steeple looks like it matches the color that's on your sign now your existing sign and, and also the front doors of the of the church and the roof and the roof okay i can go down through the Criteria sheet for signs. The size, location, design, color, texture, lighting, and material of all exterior signs within the design review overlay district shall be compatible with the building, buildings and structures of the site and surrounding properties. That's acceptable. Sign design, number seven. Sign design, color, and topography shall respect historic precedents where appropriate and shall be the appropriate scale for existing and new buildings. That's acceptable. Sign support structure shall be compatible with the building architecture and must not be overly complex or dominant in and of themselves. Acceptable. Right. And then for the two options for you, the sign support, can be double post, which is existing, or single post. Yes. Again, that's your option. And number two, option to include a perimeter pinstripe. And I'll just indicate, obviously, a blue pinstripe. Okay. All in favor of the application with those two options, speak your name. Ben. Martha. And Steve. So the sign is approved. Ah, oh, thank you. So nothing in favor. You want to indicate about signing the mic? Yeah. So uh, Meredith has been probably the one working with you, and she's out sick tonight. So 
Uh, usually what would happen is Meredith would take this back and in the morning, scan it and send it off and have you sign it and then scan it and send it back or stop by the office and sign it to accept the, the decision. Okay. She's probably not going to be in again tomorrow, so I'm not sure the timing, but we'll try to get that out to you as soon as we can. And then the permit will follow shortly thereafter. Okay. That sounds wonderful. All right. Well, thank you guys so much. I appreciate you. Well, thank you for coming to the meeting remotely and good luck with your project. Thank you. Have a good evening. Thank you. We can go to the second applicant of the evening for 89 Main Street. Owner Doug Nettie, applicant, Marigold Adornment for the, the new projecting site. And introduce yourself. M-I-C-H-A-E-L? Correct. And spell your last name. M-U-L-C-A-H-Y. And describe your sign. Uh, well, we were here pre-COVID uh, for a sign permit that you approved with our business name. That was a vertical sign. And then um, everything was put on pause during shutdown and such. And it gave us time to re-examine what we wanted with our sign. And we've decided now instead to just go with a circular sign that's just our logo, as opposed to a vertical word, um, both projecting from the same spot on the building. So it's a matte black metal sign that is uh, all one piece prefabricated. And then a uh, final detail of our logo it's in the yellow gold color inset into the, um, the sign. Uh, this matches the logo that we have in gold leaf on our door and also the ones that are uh, up at the front of the building at 89 Main Street, where La Brioche, above where La Brioche was. Um, our main entrance is on East State Street across um, from the Centers for Independent Living. So it's farther down the building. And this image is basically representing you're going to fasten it through that sign band in that green. Like, uh, correct. Yeah, what, centered what? on the sign band um, where there is. Um, Hardware and stuff left over from the previous things yep. in the village pizza. Yep. There is um, lighting outlets there, but we decided to not use uh, lighting ones. Okay. I think it's a great idea to have a sign. Yes, we do too. <laughs> our address is on Main Street, but our main entrance being on East State Street creates a lot of confusion for people. Mm -hmm. And so we just want a simple logo that projects out so that as people come around the corner, they can spot down that long brick wall uh, where our door might be across. Mm -hmm. Is the lighting still there? The... That is a uh, current picture. Um, okay. The um, the. Lighting boxes are still there, but we're, we don't currently have an intention of using the lighting boxes. Would you like the option to put some little miniature spots on there sure. at some point? If we could include yeah. the option, I guess, in the in the sign approval, that, that would be good. We, we did include them in our original sign that we met here, mm -hmm. and uh, you guys approved those. It was a black gooseneck, a uh, small spot on each side, um, and... Uh, just for making the project even less complicated, we had uh, avoided it this time. But if it's easy to include as an option, you could either do a black gooseneck or you could do um, like a miniature spot from that location. Right. To just shine down on, on their logo. Right. Which yeah. would light up in, in case in, at the end of December when it's dark at 3 30. Correct. <laughs> yeah. And to keep your sign. Yeah. Yeah, we will take that as an option if that's that uh, anybody has okay with that. Okay. Any other comments, questions, or suggestions? Okay, I'll read down through the criteria sheet is on this one as well. 
size, location, design, color, texture, lighting, and material of all exteriors. Signs within the design review overlay district shall be compatible with the building and structures of the site and surrounding properties. Acceptable. Where appropriate, signing shall respect the original sign placement and sign bands in historic structures. The sign band is acceptable. If a building has multiple tenants, so it shall be consistency in placement and size among all signs. Sign band is where most everything in this building is placed. Acceptable. It is recommended that sign placement be centered over building entries. This one's acceptable. Sign installation shall minimize damage to character defining materials in the building. Acceptable. Sign design, color, and topography shall respect the historic precedents where appropriate and shall be of the appropriate scale for existing and new buildings. Acceptable. Sign support structures shall be compatible with the building architecture and must not be overly complex or dominant in and of themselves. Acceptable. And again, the option is the existing electrical basis can be used for either small Black gooseneck light fixtures or miniature spot lights. For signing the nation. All in favor, speak your names. Ben. Martha, I'm a yes. And Steve. So three in favor. And if you like, you can come up and sign the criteria sheet right below my name. Okay. Thank you, for that. Thank you very much for coming back for the approval. Thank you. And good luck with your project. Thanks. And looking at the minutes, we really can't do anything on the December 5th. Because again, we only have two two people. I'm guessing we'll be doing first. We get it. Play <laughs> <laughs> one of these days. Play the, the three people that were there: <laughs> Eric, Martha, and Ben, to all hear it together. Does <laughs> <laughs> anybody have a chance to look at the February sixth? If you have any questions or suggestions. I looked at it. I think it's fine the way it is. Okay. And, and so I moved to accept it the way it is. So I'm on the second. All in favor of the February 6 minutes, speak your names. Martha. And Steve. So February 6 is approved. And again, somebody already wrote postponed on it, so I'm going to leave that notation on that one for the next meeting, maybe. <laughs> And does anyone have any other business? If not, so so, your motion. I was just going to say, I know the, the design review guidelines, the only update I think uh, Meredith was going to give was that the council did have the hearing on approving them and they did approve them. So they are officially the design guidelines now. Okay. So if anyone wants to use them in a meeting or 